It's been seven months since a young woman was hit and killed by a plow in Fitchburg. No charges have ever been filed, but as our Ken McLeod reports, her family is hoping a new lawsuit will shed light on this case and bring justice for their daughter. The roadside memorial has faded a bit, but a father's pain has not. It has not gotten easier at all. It's, uh, I think it actually gets harder. He's talking about the death of daughter Elizabeth, seen here leaving her job at Market Basket that snowy February night for the short walk home, just minutes before she was run over from behind and killed by this private plow. I'm sure he didn't do it on purpose. I, I'm having a hard time with the lying. She's talking about the family's wrongful death lawsuit just filed against Einstein's landscaping and owner David Langton, who was driving the plow that night. According to the Hill family, investigators say a call and text matching the accident time were deleted from his cell phone. If it was an accident, I could have dealt with that, but people hide and stuff. When reached by phone, Langton told me he had not yet seen the lawsuit and had no comment. Police tell me they are not ruling out criminal charges, but none have been filed yet some seven months later. I would have thought that at least the criminal part of the investigation would have been done within a few months. For starters, the Hills hope the lawsuit will cover some 60 grand in medical bills that Einstein's insurer has declined to pay, apparently contending that Elizabeth was illegally walking in the dark, snowy street. It's absurd. The lawsuit counters that Lankin's negligent, reckless, and distracted driving was to blame, and the victim's stepmom now freaks out whenever she sees somebody texting at the wheel. And I just want to scream at them, put your phone away, and sometimes I do. But that outburst often turns to emptiness in missing Elizabeth's magic smile and quirky energy. It puts things into perspective on definitely on what's important in life. And they fear her upcoming birthday will be harder still. In Fitchburg, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Well, this is an